hello guys uh, welcome to tech design in this uh, video i'm going to show you how we can make this uh, sketcher 2d diagram in uh, sketch in our environment so you can see that uh, the dimensions are in uh, inches as you can see here 1 inches and uh, 1.125 diameter as well as 5.804 is the distance so all these dimensions are uh, inches uh, so let us start with this i'll go to the annex and uh, i'll take a new file as soon as this new window is open select the model and uh, unit should be inches so by default it will be millimeter so just uh, changes it change it to inches and click ok and uh, now what I will do is uh, I will go to sketcher environment so select a sketch and uh, select any of the plane click ok so now we are in sketcher environment so as you can see here uh, the sketcher is the sketch 2d drawing is having uh, two uh, circles here with a 1.125 diameter as well as 1.75 diameter so let us draw those two one is 1.125 And the other is 1.75. So as you can see here, those uh, both uh, uh, circles are concentric. So let us make a concentric. Press C for the constraint command and select the concentric. Select both the curves, so it will be concentric. And select, make them in a online. So this should be on this line as well as the same point should be on this line as well. So as you can see here, these two curves are ready. So now I'm going to draw these circles. One is 0.75 and one, one is 1.625. So 0 0.75, 1.16, uh, 1.625, sorry, 0.625 diameter. So again these two circles are concentric so let us go to concentricity and uh, select these two as you can see here uh, the dimension for these is uh, given 0.75 as well as uh, 1.875 so let us give those dimensions so I will go to linear dimension and uh, select these two points This is 0.75 and now this is 1.875 so okay now as you can see here uh, these two circles are done and the dimensioning also done the, con, uh, the drawing is uh, fully constrained now so now what I will do is I will do this uh, profile so as you can see here there are two ra radius uh, arcs with a 0 0.437 and 0 0.75 so let us draw those two and 0.437 okay so I'm just going to draw a construction line here between this to this and let us make it as a construction line and I'll give the distance between these two as a 0.5 Now what I will do is I will just uh, mirror these two curves. So let us go to mirror curve and mirror these two curves. My center line will be this one. And I am just going to draw a line in order to make it a trim.
okay now let us join these two lines okay this profile is ready now now as you can see here there is a distance of 5.804 from uh, this end so let us uh, remove the 2.312 from this dimension so that we will get it from the this dimension so 5.804 so from this to this it is Point eight zero four minus two point three one two, and also these points should lie on the x axis. So let us go to constraint and a point on a curve. So this point should be on this curve. Okay, now. Now I am going to do this one. As you can see here, there is an uh, two construction lines. One is a arc with a radius of 2.312, and as well as one line with a 40 degree for uh, the horizontal line. So let us draw these two. One is a arc with a 2.312. Is it 2.312? Yeah, 2.312. The arc should start from the horizontal line too. Okay, yeah. Now I'm just going to draw a 40 degree angle uh, line. So just draw the line and give the angle between these two as 40. Now trim these two. And let us uh, make it as a construction line. So now, as you can see here, there are, there are two more arcs with a radius of uh, 0.875 and 0.438. So 0 0.875, 0 0.875 and 0.438. So now what I will do is I will just constrain all these points should be on a x axis. So let us constrain these all, all points should lie on this curve. So the similar uh, two circle, two uh, arcs I am just going to draw on the, on this point as well. So let us go to the same arc command and the point is on 5 is the one curve. And now this another point, another arc with a 0.438. Okay. Now I'm just going to draw an arc from here, which is joining these two points, and as well as the same way on this as well. And now again from this as well. So let us draw this as well. Now what I will do is I will just uh, give point coincidence. So this and this point should be coincident. This and this should be coincidence. And as well as these two are tangent. So let us make a tangency between these two. Okay, these two you see is already existing in this one. So now what I will do is as you can see here, uh, almost all the features are done. Only the outer profile is uh, left. So let us start with this one, the arc with a radius of 1.75. So I'm just going to the arc and select the arc and give the dimension as, sorry. This is 1.75. is going beyond so just uh, take it to here and let us give the constraint between these two 
as well as this and this line. Now it is not uh, touching the line, so let us extend this with a e command. So it is extended now. In the similar way, I am drawing these uh, two arcs here. One arc with a 1.375. So let us go to an arc and point on an arc. 1.375 is the radius. So okay. And now what I will do is I will just uh, give this dimension as a 0.625. So let us go to edge fillet. Press F. So now these two should be tangent. So it reverse the direction. And it should be 0.625. Okay, that's it. And similarly on this way, 0.625. Okay. Uh, now as you can see here, there is a line which is uh, tangent to this as well as this arc. So let us draw an arc a line here. So I'm just going to draw a line, and as well as now I'm going to constrain it. So this should be tangent to this and as well as this should be tangent to this. So now the extra portion will be trimmed. Just trim this and here as well there is an extra portion. This is also extra portion. Now as you can see guys, uh, our sketch is ready with uh, whatever the given input. So I'm just hiding all the dimension in order to show you. So this is what the input is given to us. So Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, learned something from my video. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit a like button as well as support. Thank you.